Welcome and thank you for joining us. My name is Hannah and myself and the rest of the team at Seamus Heaney Listen Now Again have created a series of videos that will guide you through the exhibition highlighting some key pieces and sharing some stories. Maybe you have visited us before at our site at the Bank of Ireland Cultural and Heritage Centre. If so, this will give you a chance to revisit that experience from the comfort of your home. If you're unfamiliar with the work of Seamus Heaney or the exhibition, we are delighted to welcome you and hope that this will give you a bit more understanding of the life and work of the poet Seamus Heaney. Firstly, I would like to introduce you to the building where our exhibition is housed. The exhibition is set in the historic site of the Bank of Ireland College Green. There's a lot of history in this building. Its foundation stone was laid on the 3rd of February, 1729. A convent, a Closed Army Hospital and a Grand House all occupied this site before work began on the Irish Houses of Parliament for the placement of that foundation stone in 1729. By 1800, the Act of Union resulted in the Parliament dissolving. The building no longer acted as the Irish House of Parliament and in 1803, the Bank of Ireland purchased the building under the condition that it would not be used for political assemblies. After its purchase, the Bank of Ireland redesigned the interior layout of the building to assure Westminster that in a, a parliament could never sit here again. The building's initial design from 1729 was by Sir Edward Lovett Pierce and included a House of Commons and a House of Lords. The House of Commons was dismantled after the bank took ownership. Pierce's design of the House of Lords, however, remains intact today. We enter Seamus Heaney, Listen Now Again, exhibition through what was previously the entrance of the House of Lords. This entrance to the east of the building was an extension to the original design and was created by the architect James Gandon in 1785 and completed in 1787. Here in the rotunda we stand six steps above street level under a dome ceiling. Standing in this space you can hear the bell of the Lewis and chatter of people passing by under the portico outside. This is where our exhibition begins. This is a National Library of Ireland exhibition. It draws on the incredible Seamus Heaney literary papers, which he donated in 2011. The book covers represented on the standing totems circling this space are the 12 collections of poetry Heaney had published in his lifetime. Death of a Naturalist was his first collection, published in 1966 when he was just 27 years old and his final collection, Human Chain, published when he was 71. Heaney's work changed long way and often mirrored his life. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to the Seamus Heaney Listen Now Again exhibition. Please keep watching as my colleague Catherine takes you through the first part of the exhibition. And from everyone here at Seamus Heaney Listen Now Again, thank you for watching.